how's it going everybody back out on the range uh, today I brought two guns with me today my shadow systems MR920 with the vortex and the old light yeah, a lot of people say it's a crappy crappy red dot crappy light you know what it works I've had Vortex on two pistols, one for over three years. It's never failed me. It's held zero the whole time. It's perfect. I don't care what people say. I buy it because it's American made and it's a lifetime guarantee. Anyway, these people get mad about putting a Vortex on a Shadow Systems. Wait till they see this next one. This is just a fun gun. All it is. Pure plastic. It was $500. It's a 10 inch. It's a ten, like 10.2, 10.5 inch AR pistol. The barrel, you know, 10 inches. Uh, but... <clears throat> It is a Omni Hybrid American Tactical. Put a red dot on it. Uh, 3X magnifier. And I have not shot this a whole, whole lot. Again, an Olight uh, 1200 lumens with a pressure pad. Anyway, let's go shoot. Alright guys, we're ready to go. I'm just going to do one shot for now. I'm aiming for his hand. Pinching me a little bit right there. All right. Now we'll do two shots. Go up and check that out. I did. That's pretty good. I was aiming for his hand, the one without the the gun in it, uh, hitting a wee bit low mostly. All right, now we'll do one shot on each one. That last one, I was a little bit to the right when I squeezed. I'm going to aim at the head on the left two and the green on the right.
the heck? Okay, that was not the rifle's fault or the pistol. The casing was smashed, so it would not go would not go in. All right, I'm gonna double tap all three. Head, two head, then green. One more time, then we'll go check it. First target, I was aiming in the stomach at first. I was actually aiming for the hand. And then I was aiming for the head. Second target. Hand, then the head. Third target. I was aiming for the green. I'm consistently low. So I might have to make a slight adjustment. But I do have this sighted in for longer. So it could be that it's just going to shoot like that. Out. Okay. Okay. Go to the pistol. I'm going to do single shot. And I'm going to hold and see where I'm at. I'm aiming for the head. All right, we're gonna go two in the hand, one in the head. I'm getting light primer strikes, and I don't know why. I was shooting for the hand first, here, here, then I got one here, and then I was shooting for the head. I'll shoot three, and then I'll transfer to my secondary.
I have no idea why I'm getting those light primer strikes or or when I bought the primers they, they sold me crappy primers I bought all CCI and federal primers so I have no idea what's going on do that again One more time. I know there's a lot of holes in these targets, but you can see I'm putting them in. These are real small targets, too. Very small targets. And I'm, I'm about 20 yards away. AR's out. We're just gonna shoot this last mag in the pistol. You guys see that orange disc up there? My second shot is gonna take that disc. Third shot, fourth shot, whatever. Let's try that again. That disc is like 25 yards away, and it's only it's small. Let's try it again. It broke. I broke it, but. Let's try that again.
100 shot. Empty. All right, guys. By all means, I am I am nowhere near pro at this. But for 20 to 25 yards, and that small of a target, I think I do pretty good. I do not shoot a lot. I do not shoot very good. I am nowhere near a pro. I'm an amateur. <laughs> but guys, it takes practice to keep going to do this. And I want to get good at it, so I'm going to keep doing it. For how much I shoot, I think I'm pretty good at it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. See you guys later.